Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brandon Harris from TheUrbanGeek.com. Uh, I, once in a while, come across a really cool game or something that I have to demo. I download a lot of stuff, and I play with it, and I don't feel like it's worthy of being demoed. This, what I just downloaded, was absolutely worthy. It's called Chopper. It's a sequel to their first game. Uh, it's called Chopper 2, and what they have done is made the app compatible with the iPhone, and with the iPad so you can use the iPhone as a remote for the iPad let me fire this guy up right now basically uh, chopper allows you to connect through a make sure that's turned up the right way turn the right side it lets you connect through a Bluetooth connection okay so I'll say I want my iPhone to be a remote control tap to begin select, select remote control and I want to go to the menu settings here. Remote. Set up as a remote control. And it found it. I'll say uh, I want to find my iPad. I accept on the iPad. Okay. And now I can begin to play. I'll tap play right here. And you can see it's, it's fluid motion. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually controlling this helicopter in the game solely from my iPhone. Now it uses the iPhone's gyroscope and uh, accelerometer and it knows exactly where I'm pointing my iPhone, how I'm pointing it, and uh, which direction I want to go in. So the object of this game is pretty simple. I haven't gotten to the harder levels yet, but you try to find civilians on the ground and pick them up, okay? And you pick them up and take them to a destination. Now I kind of suck at this right now, I'm not that great, but I'm telling you, once you get the hang of this, the game is just flawless. Um, I would definitely recommend buying this uh, if you're looking for something really cool to do. This is absolutely the best game that I've ever played using my um, iPad or iPhone. And being able to use them both together is insane. Uh, what I'll show you next is how this works on the TV because the iPad app does support uh, uh, video out. So I'll uh, readjust my camera and show you what it looks like on TV in a second or two. Okay, and I'm back here. You'll see that I have it running through my iPad through the AV out cables that Apple provides. Uh, the iPad is right there, and this is the TV. I'm going to hit play on my iPhone right here, and maybe I can show it to you while I'm playing it. So, you'll see I'm completely controlling this helicopter using my iPhone, and it's showing up on the TV. The resolution is not that bad. This is a 1080p. Uh, output TV. Oh, I just blew up there because I'm not I'm not looking at the screen. But uh, you'll see this is actually really really cool, man. I might play this uh, for the rest of the night. And a lot of a lot of people will say, hey, you know, you can do this type of stuff with the Wii. Listen, this game cost me three dollars, and I can have a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment with this. Uh, I really think these guys have done an outstanding job, and this is only the first version. I can't imagine them doing updates to this and making it a lot more cool. It's almost like a two and a half D view. You see the helicopter spinning around, and uh, it's not completely 3D, but I'm pretty sure they'll be working on something to make this 3D and even awesomer. Is that a word? I'm not sure. But you see me blowing up because I'm not really paying attention. You understand the point. This is called Chopper 2. It's $2.99 in the App Store, and I would highly recommend it, especially if you, even if you only have an iPhone or an iPad, because you can use it solely on this device or that device right there, and um, use the iPhone as a controller without using any other peripheral. So once again, this is Chopper 2, Brandon Harris from TheUrbanGeek.com, and uh, I hope you enjoy this if you do get it. Uh, leave, leave me some feedback and let me know if you have it, if you like it or not. And if you, don't plan, if you do plan on getting it, but you have some questions, ask me and I'll try to help you out. Okay? Have a good day. Bye.